so today we will uh, calculate uh, uh, simple interest for certain number of days so here the problem has been given uh, rupees 15,000 is growing at 8% simple interest uh, uh, from 15 January uh, 2017 to uh, 13 April 2017 find the amount uh, and the interest earned during this period so firstly uh, we have to uh, convert this uh, fraction of uh, um, interest rate uh, into decimal uh, it is it becomes uh, uh, 0 0.08 and after this uh, we have to find out the number of days uh, so to find out the number of days from 15 January to 2017 to 13 April 2017 what we do that we calculate the number of days during this period uh, in the month of January there are 17 days uh, why 17 because uh, uh, 15 we it is uh, uh, it is starting from 15 January means including 15 if we include uh, 15th then it is 15 16 17 18 19 20 so there are six days till 20 and then again uh, from 21st to 30 it is 10 and uh, uh, we know that uh, there are uh, 31 days uh, in the month of January so 6 till 20 and then uh, 10 uh, 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 from 21st to 30 and 1 31st January so there are 17 days in the month of February there are 28 days in this case we have to see whether the year uh, is a leap year or not to find out the leap year what we do that uh, uh, f uh, for years for years for example 2001 2012 13 14 we divide uh, the uh, the year by 4 if the remainder is a zero then it is a leap year uh, with 366 days instead of uh, 365 days uh, but for centuries uh, we have to divide that uh, century by 400 see uh, here we have to notice that uh, 1900 is not a year but it is a century for example if it is written here uh, it uh, 1900 or 2000 is written here then we have to uh, divide 2000 by uh, 400 uh, 400 not by uh, 4 uh, if you divide it by 4 uh, uh, for example if you divide a 1900 by 4 uh, it would be uh, it would uh, be concluded it would be concluded that 1900 is a uh, leap year but it is actually not a, a leap year so see a remainder is zero it is uh, uh, evenly divided by uh, uh, 4 but if you divide uh, 1900 by uh, 400 then uh, what we find uh, we find that it is not uh, being uh, evenly divided by uh, 400 means uh, the remainder is not zero so this means uh, we have to understand the difference between uh, the century uh, and the uh, year what happens uh, what how we can understand uh, uh, or how we can differentiate between a uh, year and century in century we will always uh, be having uh, two zeros uh, uh, in the century you see that at least two zeros at least two zeros uh, will be there might be more than two zero but at least two zeros will be there so in the case of two zeros uh, we have to divide it by uh, 400 in order to check whether it is a leap year or not but in the case of year we have to divide it by 4 in order to find out whether this is a leap year or not what happens in leap year that the number of days in the month of Febru February it is, uh, uh, are uh, 29 not 28 so uh, this was the reason that uh, uh, I explained the concept of leap year and the difference between uh, a, a century and a year now here we can see that uh, 2017 is not a leap year if we divide if we divide 200, uh, 2017 by 4 
then the remainder is not a zero we have uh, certain uh, values after decimals so this is not a leap year this means there are only 28 days in the month of february so now uh, after uh, finding out the number of days in each month what we do we add them up after adding uh, we have found there are 106 days so we put uh, 106 days uh, uh, as a numerator and uh, denominator is 365 days so uh, what we do now uh, that uh, uh, here uh, we write down the formula now uh, this is the PIT uh, principal interest and uh, number of years so P is 15,000 and uh, I or R is 8% uh, and this is T so now if we uh, calculate so firstly uh, what we do that we change the fraction into decimal uh, 106 uh, divided by 365 days so this is the value I have taken now I divide I multiply it by uh, 0 0.08 so multiply it by 0 0.08 so this is the value now we have to multiply it multiply this value by uh, 15,000 so after dividing it by 15,000 we what we get it is the SI it is the SI what we have calculated is the SI means simple interest during this period this is the interest earned now uh, this is this uh, thing has been asked in this uh, question that find out the amount and the interest earned so this is the interest earned now in order to find out the amount what we do that we add the simple interest uh, uh, to uh, principal amount so principal amount is 15,000 uh, and then uh, what we do that we add uh, 15,000 uh, 15, uh, to the interest earned to the amount of interest earned so this is what it becomes 15348.49 rupees so this is the answer so this is the amount and this is the re uh, this is the interest earned so this is how uh, this type of questions uh, are solved